it's Addie, and today we are watching Pulp Fiction. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we're watching Pulp Fiction because we had a Tarantino poll over on Patreon, and this was always two or three votes behind Inglorious Bastards, so it was so close, so I knew I would be watching Pulp Fiction soon. But then the day I posted Inglorious Bastards, this one ended up tying the day of. So here we are watching Pulp Fiction, and I really don't know a whole lot about this one other than Samuel L. Jackson is in this, so I'm very excited to see him in this movie. And I imagine that I have probably heard so many Pulp Fiction references throughout my life. It seems like this movie has just, it's so popular and has really made such an impact on pop culture. So I imagine that I've heard this movie referenced without realizing it. So I'm excited to watch it because I do know it's so popular. It's probably one of Tarantino's most popular films. So it is finally time to watch it. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is Pulp Fiction. Hmm. A soft, moist, shapeless mass of matter. I'm through doing that you always say that, the same thing every time. I know, that's what I always say. I'm always right, too. You know when you go on like this, what you sound like? You sound like a sensible man, that's what I sound like. You sound like a duck. Oh, can I get anyone more coffee? Oh, yes. Banks are easier. Federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery. Some sugar. Knucklehead walks into a bank with a telephone. Not a pistol, not a shotgun. You want to rob banks? I'm not saying I want to rob banks. I'm just illustrating that if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been doing. I'm not going to kill anybody. I don't want to kill anybody either. I don't want you to kill anyone either. Yeah, well, what then? Day jobs? Not in this life. Garçon, coffee! Garçon means boy. Whew. Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why not? Same as banks, these places are insured. Manager. <laughs> you don't give a f You're just trying to get you out the door before you start plugging the diners. True. Is this really what we're about to do? You got the idea, taking their wallets. Mm -hmm. Now that was a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, good idea. I'm ready, let's do it right now, right Are here. we doing it right now? Oh, we're not even gonna plan yeah. this? I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. How romantic. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! Move! And I'll execute every mother last one of you! <laughs> And this is just the first scene of the movie. All right, let's go. Pulp Fiction. John Travolta? What? Yeah, I knew Samuel L. Jackson was in it. I also didn't know that Bruce Willis was in, in this. Wow. This cast is really stacked. But you know what the funniest thing about Europe is? What? It's a little differences. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese? Don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the f quarter pounder is. <laughs> the Royale with cheese. The Royale with cheese. It does sound better. What do they call a Big Mac? I love Big Mac. Oh. What do they call a Whopper? I don't know. I didn't go on a Burger King. <laughs> Next time. Next trip. We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. What are they about to do? Not you. They were so casual in the car. And now what are they about to do? How do Marcellus and her meet? I don't know. However people meet people, you start in a pilot. It's a pilot. Well, you know the shows on TV? I don't watch TV. Are aware that there's an invention <laughs> called television. You do know what TV is, right? She starred in one of the ones that became nothing. <laughs> it just blows my mind how casual they are with whatever they're about to do. Just talking about pilots, talking about whoppers. Word around the campfire is it was on account of Marcellus Wallace's wife. So what he do? F no, 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 no. Gave her a foot massage. Uh oh. What Marcellus do? Threw his ass over the balcony. Fell four stories. Oh, did he survive? Since then, he kind of developed a speech impediment. Play with matches, you get burned. It was a foot massage. A foot massage is nothing. I give my mother a foot massage. <laughs> Just laying your hands in a familiar way on Marcellus's new wife. Maybe your method of massage differs from mine. But you know, <laughs> touching his wife's feet and sticking your tongue in the holiest of holies ain't the same ballpark. Have you ever given a foot massage? <laughs> Don't be telling me about foot massages. I'm the foot master. Would you this give is what we're talking about right now. Oh. Thank you. 
7.22 in the a.m. No, ain't quite time yet. Come on, let's hang back. Just because I wouldn't get no man a foot massage, don't make it right <laughs> for myself to throw Antoine off a building. You're saying a foot massage don't mean nothing. I'm saying it does. I can see both sides. There's a sensuous thing going on. Marcellus knew it. And Antoine should have better known better. It's an interesting point. <laughs> Come on, let's get in your character. Fair point. Yeah, I do think I meant something. Why are you so yeah. interested in big man's wife? Well, he's going out of town in Florida, and he asked me if I'd take care of her while he's gone. Mm, maybe give her some foot massages? Just good company, that's all. I think I could watch them talk for literally two hours. How you boys doing? Hey, keep chilling. You're Brett, right? Yeah. I thought so. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. What you having? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! For a breakfast? Where'd you get them? McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? And Burger King. Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger. Is Good. This you mind if I try one of you? Some kind of intimidation technique. I am very on edge for them. This is a tasty burger. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France. <laughs> then we're bringing it back. Tell them, Vincent. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Because of the metric system. Check out the big brain on Brad. Oh, look at you. you smart motherfucker. That's right. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Oh, he's about to drink all your Sprite. Oh. Yep, he drank it all. Won't you tell my man Vincent where you got your shit at? It's over there. I don't remember asking you a god thing. I have heard that quote at least. It's in the cupboard. Ooh. What's in the case? We happy? Yeah, we happy. Oh. <sighs> I just want you to know how when we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Oh, keep talking. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? Oh, what country so is from? What? what? What ain't no country I ever heard of? What? Say what again? Oh Say gosh. what again? I dare you. Say what one more damn time. Does he look like a bitch? What? Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm supposed to be laughing this much, but I just really love Samuel L. Jackson. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ezekiel 25, 17. Oh, we're bringing the Bible into this now. Oh. Blessed is he who in the oh, name of charity too. and goodwill <clears throat> shepherds the weak this guy in the corner and I will strike thing. down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger and you will know my name is the Lord. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh, here he is. Ability don't last. How many flights do you think you got through in boxes don't have an old time stick? Is this entire scene just on his face? You might not. Certainly appears so. Night of the fight, you may feel a slight sting. That's pride. Pride. You gonna say to yourself, Marcellus Wallace was right. Are we ever gonna see his face? Say it. In the fifth, my ass comes down. Ooh, and I bet he's gonna make a lot of money for it. Oh, it's up with them clothes! You don't need more than that. <laughs> what? Where's the big man? What is up with your clothes? So I hear you taking me out of the mark. <laughs> Word travels best. It's a big man's wife. I'm gonna sit across from her, chew my food with my mouth closed, laugh at her f***ing jokes, and that's it. Hey. And not give her a foot massage. You pack of red apples. Build this. None. Looking at something, friend. He ain't my friend, Palooka. What is he wearing? <laughs> that gun goes against the entire idea behind piercing. All my piercing, 18 places on my body, every one of them done with a needle. Why would you wear a stud in your tongue? Sex thing. I see. Now, the first two are the same, but this one is a little more expensive. Now, there's nothing wrong with these, but this one. Is a madman. Mm, what you gonna get? Give me three grand of madman. Okay. Ooh. If it's as good as you say it is, I'll come back and buy another thousand. Okay. 
private stash. That is what a nice guy I am. So nice. The nicest. What do you think about Trudy? She ain't got a boyfriend. You want to uh, hang out, get high? I want all the shit in her face. <laughs> That's my wife. Oh. No, I can't. I'm, I gotta be someplace. All right, no problemo. I don't have a fear of needles, but watching it in a movie just, I don't know, it feels weird. I wish this was little date night. I'm getting dressed. The door's open. Come inside and make yourself a drink. Oh, she's just watching him. <clears throat> Vincent. Where is, where is the intercom? It's on the wall by the two African fellows. Hello? Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lion's tail. Okay. And then she's just watching him. <clears throat> Are we about to see her? Let's go. This is Jack Rabbit Slims. Come on, man. Let's go get a steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy-o. <laughs> Daddy-o? Okay, this is fun. Oh, it's literally a booth in a car. Hmm. <laughs> we got to our car. We're here. This is kind of fun. Hi, I'm Buddy. What can I get you? <laughs> Hello, Buddy. Oh, yeah. Uh, this Douglas Sirk Steaks. Vanilla Coke. Durward Kirby Burger. Bloody. $5 shake. Any with that shake? Martin and Lewis or Amos and Ann? Martin and Lewis. That's $5. You don't put bourbon in or nothing? No. <laughs> just check. I want to be her for Halloween. She's so cool. Marsala said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. How long were you there? Uh, just over three years. Tell her about the McDonald's. I heard you did a pilot. It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. Fox is in where a bunch of foxy chicks. Force <laughs> is in where a force to be reckoned with. And five is in this one, two, three, four, five. Of <laughs> and if we would have got picked up, it would have worked in a gimmick where every show I would have told another joke. Tell me. I promise Different. I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of, Vince. Mm. There's her shake. Yummy. You think I can have a sip of that? I gotta know what a $5 shake tastes like. Here's my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties Aww. I can handle. Oh. <laughs> Is it worth the $5? God damn, it's a pretty good milkshake. Told you. Now I want a freaking milkshake. Oh, is he going to be foot massaging you tonight? I said, God damn. <laughs> Powdering her nose indeed. Don't you just love it when you come back from the bathroom to find your food waiting for you? We're lucky we got anything at all. I don't think Buddy Holly's much of a waiter. So do you think of something to say? You seem like a really nice person, and I, I don't want to offend you. Ooh. Ooh, she wants to hear it even more now. But you have to promise not to be offended. I have no idea what you're going to ask me. So you can go <laughs> ahead true. and ask me what you're going to ask me. And my natural response could be to get offended. Yeah, she might get offended. What did you uh, think about what happened to Antoine? He fell out of a window. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is one way to say it. <laughs> it's one way to put it. Is to say he was thrown out of a window by ourselves because of you. Is that a fact? I just said that Antoine had given you a foot massage. You heard Marsalis threw Tony Rocky Hart out of a four-story window for giving me a foot massage? That, that is what he heard. Seem reasonable? No, it seemed excessive, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Only thing Antoine ever touched in mind was my hand when he shook it. Ooh. At my wedding. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, it's a world-famous Jackrabbit Slim's Twist Contest. Oh. Is she going to get up and do it? Or make him do it? Who will be our first contestants? Right here. Ah, oh, they're going to do it. Oh, he's going to hate this. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. I want that trophy. Oh, I don't think you have a choice. All right, let's see what you can do. Take it away. <laughs> All right. Well, I know he has some moves, but does his character have some moves? This is fun. Is he going to get killed for dancing with his wife though? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, a fun night. <laughs> you better watch what happens next. You might get killed over it. Drinks, music. Okay. I'm gonna take a piss. Can we shut the door, please? One drink, and that's it. Don't be rude. Drink your drink. You do it quickly. That art in the corner is kind of unsettling. I feel like I would think that was a person all the time if that was in my house. This is a moral test of oneself, whether or not you can maintain loyalty. Being loyal is very important. Oh gosh. So listen, I gotta go. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Me. Me. Oh. Answer. Better answer that phone. He's not gonna answer the you phone. You, Lance, answer. I thought you told those f***ing never to call here this late. Yeah, I told them. Well, there's kind of an emergency. Hello. Lance. Vincent. I'm in big f***ing trouble, man. She's ODing? She's f***ing dying on me, man. I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller. Prank caller. I will be forced to tell him that you did not help and that, and that you let her die on your f***ing lawn. Come on, help me. What the f*** is going on out here? Yeah. Is she? Yeah. She's ODing! Get her out of here! What does it look like? Get her shot! F*** you! What are you looking for? A little black medical book. What are you looking for? A little black medical book. Give her the shot. Come on. Okay. Look, while I'm doing this, you take off her shirt and find her heart. <laughs> All right, what I need is a big, fat magic marker. You got it? What? A what magic marker! A, a felt pen! A black magic marker! Oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't want to see this go you, down. You're gonna give her the shot. No, you're gonna give her the shot. I ain't giving her the shot. I ain't giving her the shot. Someone give her the dick shot! Here, give me that. Alright, you gotta be kneeled down in a oh stabbing gosh, motion. I don't wanna I gotta, see I gotta, this! I gotta stab her three times. No, you don't gotta stab her three times. You gotta stab her once. Oh right, gosh, ready? I don't wanna One. watch this! Two. Three! <laughs> <laughs> She's awake. She's awake. Oh, it's just sticking out of her body. If you're all right, okay? then say something. Something. Oh, oh, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe I don't want to be her for Halloween. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Mia. Mia. I'm of the opinion that if Marcel's lived his whole life, he doesn't need to know nothing about this incident. I can keep a secret if you can. Okay, go ahead. Do you want to hear my Fox Force 5 joke? Yeah, now's a good time. Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Papa tomato, mama tomato, and baby tomato. Baby tomato starts lagging behind, and Papa tomato goes back and squishes him, says, ketchup. <laughs> no, I forget that. No, I forget that. What a night. And there were no foot massages. Oh, that paddle foot. He's funny, city dog. Butch, stop watching TV a second. Yeah, we got a special visitor. I was a good friend of your dad's. We were in that Hanoi pit of hell together. Butch, this watch I got here was first purchased by your great grandfather during the First World War. He'd done his duty, went home to your great grandmother, put an old coffee can, and in that can it stayed. Great grandfather gave this watch to your granddad for good luck. He was killed. Three days before the Japanese took the island, your granddad asked a gunner on an Air Force transport named a Wanaki. After the war was over, he paid a visit to your grandmother, delivering to your infant father his dad's gold watch. His watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down on that Hanoi. Mm. This watch has quite the history. Did the way your dad it? looked at it, this watch was your birthright. He hid it. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. He died of dysentery. He gave me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass two years. Now I give it to you. Oh man, I give the watch to you. Oh. <gasps> what a history. Wow. Is this the fight that he's supposed to do? It's time, Butch. Oh, I guess it is. What is this supposed to be in the fifth round? Well, then that had to be the bloodiest and hands down the most brutal fight this 
city has ever seen. Coolidge was out of there faster than I've ever seen. Oh, boxing. Richard, a tragedy like this can't help but shake the world of boxing to its very foundation. Oh. Ow. Oh, they're going to come after him. I never thank you for dinner. He booked his trainer. He says he don't know nothing. I believe him. Take him to the kennel, sick the dogs on his ass. We'll find out for sure what he knows and what he don't. Oh. If Butch goes to Indochina, I want to hiding in a bowl of rice ready to pop a cap in his ass. Okay. You were in that fight. The fight mm -hmm. on the radio. Mm hmm Tell me you are Hindu. You killed the other boxing man. He's dead? Oh, you, he didn't know? Sorry about that, Floyd. What does it feel like? Killing a man. Are you excited about this? Beating another man who dead with your better hands. You sound very excited about this. I'll tell you what. Give me one of the cigarettes you got up there and I'll tell you all about it. He's got to put his, his pants on first. Esmeralda. The little low boss. And what is your name? Butch. What does it mean? I'm an American, honey. Our name's on me. <laughs> I didn't know he was dead until you told me he was dead. I feel the least bit bad about him. God, if he's a better boxer, he'd still be alive. Yeah, well, enough about the poor, unfortunate Mr. Floyd. Let's talk about the rich and prosperous Mr. Butch. So you have it all by tomorrow night? No, me and Fabiana are going to leave in the morning. Next time I see you, we'll be on Tennessee time. Cool, brother. 4560. If anybody asks you who your fan was tonight, what are you going to say? It's food. Three, well-dressed, slightly toasted Mexican. Good answer. Where the snow checks. Butch. Would she turn him in? Would she? They'd probably offer her a lot of money. Keep the light off. Or maybe he didn't know who that was. But it seems like he does. Pretty hard. You know what? I was thinking about taking a shower. I was thinking like a dog over here. I like the way you stink. I was looking at myself in the mirror. Uh-huh. I wish I had a pot. Pot belly. Pot bellies are sexy. You should be happy, because you have one. Shut up, but so I don't have a pot. It's unfortunate what we find pleasing to the touch and pleasing to the eye is seldom the same. If you had a pot belly, I would punch you in it. I'd smother you. I'd drop it right on your face till you couldn't breathe. People are coming after him. I just don't know if it'll be tonight or when. Did everything go as planned? You didn't listen to the radio? I never listened to your fights. Were you the winner? Mm-hmm. Killed a guy in the process. We're in a lot of danger, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. If they find us, they'll kill us, won't they? Oh, yeah. Do you love me? Very, very much. I'm just afraid Don't that they're gonna find them here. I think I cracked the rib. Giving me pleasure? No. <laughs> from the fight. Not quite from that. Oh! <gasps> Merde, you startled me. You know what I'm going to have for breakfast? What, lemon pie? Big plate of blueberry pancakes with maple syrup. Yeah, I just and feel like they're not going to survive this day. Are they There's going to no get a knock on the door? Are you sure you got it? Yes, bedside table drawer. And the little kangaroo? Uh-oh. Well, it should be. Yes, it most oh, definitely gosh. should be. But it's not here now. Idea what he had to go through to get me that watch. I don't yeah. have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. Uh-huh. Long story. Did you get it? I believe so. You believe so? What the f does that mean? You either did or you didn't get it. Fuck! No! We have to go back. She left it at the apartment. It's not your fault. Didn't illustrate how personal the watch was to me. I'm not a mind reader. Are you? No. No, she's not. So I gotta go back to my apartment and get my watch. But they're going to be waiting for him the there. gangsters be looking for you there? Yeah. They are definitely going to be there. Take your hand. I'll be back before you can say blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. He didn't mean it, literally. That's all the f***ing things she could forget. She forgets my father's watch. Oh, I'm nervous for you. Oh. We're parked on a different street. Smart. I feel like they're literally going to be in your apartment. We haven't seen Samuel L. Jackson in a hot second. I want to see more of him. They're going to be waiting. 
Heck, Samuel L. Jackson might be in this room. Oh, I'm like holding my breath. I need to breathe through this scene. You are spending too much time here. What's in the sink? Or by the sink? Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Dang! I really thought you would be the one to die. Ooh. Hope no one's waiting for you outside. Ugh. Just waiting for someone to get ya. They're gonna catch up to you at some point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got a little too cocky there. If you need someone to go to court, I will be glad to help, okay? That guy was a drunken maniac. He hit you, and then he crashed into that car. Oh, no. Oh, he's gonna kill you himself. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, you better keep running. Can I help you with something? Dang big boy, huh? That's pride f***ing with you. Hold it oh. right there. Say none of your business, <laughs> mister! He's not gonna let this go down in his store! Take your foot off the n***. Put your hand behind your head. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Zed, Maynard. Yeah, the spider just caught a couple of flies. Oh gosh, what's about to happen next? Wait, what? What is this about? Nobody kills anybody in my place of business at Mir Zed. Yeah, I guess we stumbled into the wrong store. They hit each other, man. They keep me fighting. Well, bring out the gimp. How did we get ourselves into this? Do you keep someone in there? Yeah. You keep someone in there? What in the world have we gotten ourselves into? Wow. Yeah. Which one of you want to do first? Do what to them? I ain't for sure. Or, or do. Amy. You're really taking your time with this. Yes, that means you, big boy. Mm -hmm. Back there, Russell's open. When so I say do it, um, what are we talking about? Duck teeth our legs <laughs> down and everything. <laughs> uh huh. You're in trouble now. Are you just gonna get yourself out of here? Are you gonna help him or just get yourself out? What you gonna do? Are oh, you gonna try to help him? I mean, it looks like there are plenty of weapons here that you could go with. Oh yeah, we could go with that one. Or that one. Why not both? Or that! Oh my gosh, what are you going to go with? What do you see right now? Oh, that's what you're gonna go with. Oh my gosh. I don't feel bad for what's coming for them, but I don't think I want to see it. Oh, oh, the anticipation. Oh gosh, are we gonna, yeah, we are gonna see. Oh, he might just slice your head off. Oh, hmm, oh, I hate this. Oh, okay, not the head, but the torso. It's coming after you next. Oh gosh. You want that gun, don't you, Zed? Slice his hand off. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot to handle. What's that, a boy? Uh-oh. Who are you gonna shoot first? 
What'd you see? <laughs> I want to kill Butch after this, right? Okay. I don't think he's okay. No, man. Yeah. I'm pretty far from okay. I'm gonna call a couple of hard pipe hitting to go to work on the homes here with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. Oh. And then what now between me and you? <gasps> Maybe he'll just let you go. I tell you what now between me and you. There is no me in you. So we cool? Yeah, we cool. <laughs> okay. Don't tell nobody about this. Okay, we'll do. That one's easy. You leave town tonight, and when you're gone, you stay gone. Deal? Deal. Mm-hmm. Understood. Deal. If he had not gone back for the watch, none of this would have happened. Okay, goodbye. Of all the things I could have guessed would happen in Pulp Fiction, this was not one of them. Please tell me she's still here. She's safe. She enjoyed her blueberry pancakes. Fabian! Fabian! I need a shower and some clean clothes. Probably some therapy. Is everything well? Just come on! No, no. talking now! I'm sorry, not Are okay. we in danger? What happened to my Honda? I'm sorry, baby. I had to He's crash gone. that Honda. Will you come on now, please? <laughs> I just had to. Uh, baby, please. We got, honey, we, don't we gotta time. hit the come road. On. Get on. How was your breakfast? He's He's good. Did you get the pancakes? The no, blueberry no, no. pancakes? I didn't have blueberry pancakes. I had to get better milk. I've been without a doubt the single weirdest day of my life. life. Come on, hop on. I'll tell you all about it. Day. Come on, get on. He's trying to stay. Don't worry about it. Zed. Don't worry Zed's about dead. it. Oh, God. Zed's dead. Uh huh. Zed's dead. Oh my gosh, what a freaking day! This is- this is literally insane! Oh, there's still more movie to go! What else is gonna happen? Oh gosh, the Bonnie situation, okay. Shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. Someone was in the bathroom during this? I didn't know there was someone else in the apartment. Better tell him to shut the fuck up, he's getting on my nerves. Marvin, I'd knock that shit off if I was you. Die, you mother- Did he completely miss? They're just fine. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so that's how this scene ends. Why the f didn't you tell us somebody was in the bathroom? Slip your mind? We should be dead, man. This was divine intervention. You know what divine intervention is? Uh -huh. That means that God came down from heaven and stopped the bullet? God came down from heaven and stopped these mother bullets. Do you want to continue this theological discussion yeah, it looks in a like car? Almost the bullets are straight through them. Cops? We should be f***ing dead, my friend. Yeah. It's it's freaky, but it happens. Look, you want to play blind man? Go walk with the shepherd. But me, my eyes are wide open. Marvin, what do you make of all this? Oh I mean, gosh. do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped? Oh! What? Man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the f did you do On that? Purpose? I didn't mean to do it. it was an accident. accident? He went over a bump or hey, something. Hey, the car ain't hit no mother bump. Hey, look, man, I didn't, I didn't. What is happening in this movie? I'm calling my partner in Toluca Lake. Where's Toluca Lake? It's just over the hill here, over by Burbank Studio. We're in a car. We got to get off the road pronto. I need to use your garage for a couple hours. Jimmy's a friend. You don't come into your friend's house and start telling him what's what. What the f*** you just do to his towel, man? Yeah. It's drying my hands. Well, you're supposed to wash him first. Did you wash me, wash him. I watched you get him wet. We're supposed to get the blood off. Like this, that's gonna bring this situation to a head, man. Just don't put me in this position, all right? All right, fine. Jimmy, this is some serious going may shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze. This is Tarantino, right? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. Did you notice a sign out in the front of my house that said dead storage? Ooh. Did you notice a sign in the front of my house that said dead? Storage. Uh, I didn't. Storing dead ain't my oh business. That's gosh. why. I mean, I don't want to help you, but I, I don't want to lose my wife doing it, all right? Jimmy, she ain't gonna leave. Don't me. Jimmy me, Jules. Oh. Now look, you know, <laughs> just, just she comes home from work in about an hour and a half. You gotta call some people? Well, then do it. And then get the f out of my house before she gets here. Well, I'll say she comes home. What do you think she'll do? Ain't no telling what she's liable to do. Oh no! All I want to hear from your 
ass is. You ain't got no problem, Jules. I'm on the motherfucker. I'm on the motherfucker. And wait for the wolf who should be coming directly. Shit. That's all you had to say. Okay. It's 30 minutes away. I'll be there in 10. Is this the wolf? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's gonna make it in 10. Dang. I'm Winston Wolf. I saw mm. problems. The wolf. Good, we got one. If I was informed correctly, the clock is ticking. Is that right, Jimmy? Uh, 100%. <laughs> uh, yes. 40 minutes to get the f out of Dodge. Which, if okay. you do what I say, when I say it, should be plenty. Oh, gosh, there's so much blood. Let's melt some coffee back there. Would you make me a cup? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, he's into his coffee. Here you go, Mr. Wolf. Thank you, Jimmy. Is it to your liking? Mm -hmm. Okay, it is. Okay, glad you enjoyed it. I need you two folks to do is take those cleaning products and clean the inside of the car. Scoop up all those little pieces of brain and skull. Get Yikes. out of here. Yikes. Wipe down the upholstery. We need to camouflage the interior of the car. We're going to line the front seat and the back seat and the floorboards with quilts and blankets. Boys, get to work. Lead the way please to the linen nice. closet. Oh, no, I don't think we have time for that. Uh -oh. I said a please would be nice. Uh-oh. I'm here to help. If my help's not appreciated, I don't mean disrespect, okay? I respect you. I just don't like people barking orders at me, that's all. So, pretty please, with sugar on top, clean the f car. Okay, thank you. Well, he enjoys his coffee. Don't be looking at me like that, all right? I can feel your look. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Oh, this is it's definitely going to take longer than 40 minutes. This is some f***ed up repugnant now, I'm right now I'm a f***ing race car, right? And you got me in a red. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Oh, oh, you ready to blow? Yeah, I'm ready to blow. Well, I'm a mushroom cloud laying mother mother What the am I doing in the back? You're the mother to be on brain detail. Yeah, I also, I agree with that. Okay, I mean, this is nice. Sir. Fine job, gentlemen. Well, let's not start sucking each other quite yet. <laughs> God. Oh, gosh. Oh, yo, Better yo, you yo, than yo. me, gentlemen. Oh, they have so much blood in their hair. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh! Perfect. Perfect. We couldn't have planned this better. That's why they were wearing this. What do they look like, Jimmy? Dorks. <laughs> ha ha ha. Your clothes, motherfucker. Nobody does a fing thing till I do something. Right. What did I say? Don't do shit unless. Unless what? Unless you do it first. No, I drive real fast, so keep up. If I get my car back any different than I we gave it. We do know he drives Master fast. Joe's gonna be disposed 30 minute drive in 10 minutes. Boys, this is Raquel. Someday, all this will be hers. You guys going to a volleyball game or something? <laughs> something like that. Stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. Mr. Wolf, I just want to tell you it was a real pleasure watching you work. Yeah, thanks for your help. I'm going to go for some breakfast. You feel like having breakfast with me? Are they going to be in the restaurant? when those two people from the beginning are trying to rob the place? Want some bacon? No, man, I don't eat pork. Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Yeah, but bacon tastes good. <laughs> I ain't eat nothing, ain't got sense enough to disregard its own feces. How about a dog? Dog eats his own feces. I don't eat dog either. Dog's got personality. Personality goes the wrong way. Uh, so by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality... Well, we have to be talking about one charming muff. Big. <laughs> That's good, ma'am. You got starting to lighten up. We've been sitting there all serious. Well, we've kind of had a rough day. I felt the touch of God. God got involved. But why? I mean, I don't know why. What's she gonna do then? Well, that's what I've been sitting here contemplating. Basically, I'm just gonna walk the earth. What you mean, walk the earth? You know, like Kane in Kung Fu. She decided to be a bum. Just like all those pieces of shit out there who beg for change. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Got some! This is the same restaurant. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shit. Oh, is he gonna be in the- so he's gonna be in the bathroom whenever they try to rob the place? To be continued. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! Yo, just oh, be quiet he's right there. There. And he's very calm. There's no problem. No problem. You can give me a problem. No problem at all. No, sir, I'm not giving you a problem. Don't just execute him. No, don't, don't. You tell him to be f***ing cool. Yes. And everything will be over. Yeah. You understand me? Yes. We understand. Oh, and you have no idea that this is happening? Oh, and that's the book you were reading when you died. Gonna come around and collect your wallets. Mm. Yes. 
in the bag. What am I waiting Ooh. for? In the bag. Do you know that he has a gun? Can you tell? In the bag. It's in the case. My boss is dirty laundry. Mm -hmm. Open it. Pray they can't do that. Shoot him in the face. Ooh. Hate to shatter your ego, but this ain't the first time I've had a gun pointed at me. What you got? Get him out of here. Shut the fuck up, fat man. This ain't none of your <laughs> business. If you don't open that case, I'm gonna unload in your face. You win. It's yours. Oh. Is that what I think it is? Mm-hmm. What is it? <laughs> Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. Ooh. We're all gonna be like three little Fonzies here. Come on, Yolanda, what's Fonzie like? He's cool. He's cool. He's really cool. And sit your ass down. But when you do it, you do it cool. Okay. Like Fonzie. Okay, now you let him go! Yolanda, I thought you were gonna be cool. You're not being very cool. You hurt him. You die. Well, that seems to be the situation. <laughs> Jules has had such a bad day. Normally, both your ass would be dead as f***ing fried chicken. <laughs> I've been through too much over this case this morning to just hand it over mm -hmm. to your ass. Be cool! Yolanda, oh. it's cool, baby! Oh, welcome to the party! So cool, honey bunny. How we doing, baby? I, I gotta go pee. Right now? How are you, honey bunny? I love you! I love you too, honey bunny. Find my wallet. Okay. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad mother. Oh my gosh. Does your wallet really say that? That's it. Yeah, it does That's really say that. Mother. Open it up. Take out the money. About $1,500. Okay, put it in your pocket. It's yours. Yeah, a lot of money. Jules, you give that Nimrod $1,500 and I'll shoot him on general principle. Then shut the up! Okay. I'm giving you that money so I don't have to kill your ass. You read the Bible, Ringo? You got to give that speech. Path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Mm. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger, and you will know I am the Lord. I never gave much thought to what it meant. I just thought it was some cold blooded shit to say to a mother before I popped a cap in his ass. Yeah, it is. The truth is, you're the weak, Ooh. and I am the tyranny of evil men. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. Ooh. Go. I'm glad they decided to truly just leave. Oh, oh, that's so scary for all of them. I think we should be leaving now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And then now are they going to meet? Is it, is it Marcellus? They're just gonna walk out of here? at the end of the movie. Yeah, that's that. That is that. I feel like so much of this movie, I was just in shock the entire time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so um, I, again, I didn't know anything about Pulp Fiction, but the storyline of everything that went down, I could not have even started to guess what would have happened in this movie. Oh, so much happened. I feel like as like for the rest of the day, I'll just be thinking about the timeline and try to like trying to piece everything that happened. Wow. I do love how it wasn't, the movie was non-linear and there were so many moments that were like, for example, like whenever they walked into the bar in those clothes, it was just like a, uh -huh, what, what, what happened? And then you watch more of the movie and especially the last, what, 30, 40 minutes, it really starts piecing together some of the timeline. Oh, this movie is wild. And I see why it's so popular. I see why it has such a cult following. It's probably a movie that I myself will not watch again, but I, I can certainly appreciate the movie for what it is and for, I guess what it's done for film and pop culture, but I will say it's it's probably not one that I'll watch again. I will say this, the cast is amazing. And I love, especially Samuel L. Jackson, I loved seeing him in this movie. And there were a few things that he said in the movie, some quotes that I had heard before, but this movie was a lot. This movie was very intense. 
Yeah, I, I feel like I'm gonna have to decompress after this movie. It was just, it was just a lot. It was a lot. Um, yeah. It was a lot, but I can now say that I've officially watched Pulp Fiction. And I'm glad I had. I feel like everyone should watch this movie at some point, but who? Ooh, I'm a little, I'm a little emotionally drained right now. Well, this one was Pulp Fiction. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.